Have you ever faced a frustrating moment when your Postgres container crashes right after you update its image? It can be incredibly annoying, especially when you're eager to get back to work. If this sounds familiar, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle the issue of Postgres container crashes and how to resolve them. I completely understand how disheartening it is to see your container fail to launch with an error message. You're not alone in this. Many users encounter similar issues when upgrading their Postgres images. It's a common tech hurdle that can leave you feeling stuck. Let's dive into the specific situation at hand. One user recently reported that their Postgres container crashes with the message, database files are incompatible with server. They had updated their image to the latest version, but now they're left wondering what options they have. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what does this error mean? Essentially, it indicates that the data directory was initialized with an older version of Postgres, which is not compatible with the newer version you just up updated to. This is a common issue when upgrading databases and understanding it is the first step to finding a solution. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a crucial tip that can help you avoid this issue in the future. You won't want to miss it. To address the issue of the Postgres container crashing, the user should first understand that the error indicates a version mismatch between the database files and the server. The data directory was initialized with an older version of Postgres. The user has a couple of options to resolve this. One option is to perform a database dump from the old version and then restore it in the new version. This way, the user can keep their data. Alternatively, if the user does not need the existing data, they can simply remove the existing container and its associated volumes. This will allow them to start fresh with the new version. If the user chooses to remove the container, they should ensure that they have backed up any important data beforehand. After removing the container, they can recreate it using the updated image. In summary, the user can either dump and restore their database or remove the existing container and start fresh. Each option has its own implications depending on the user's data needs. Fun fact, did you know that Postgres has been around since 1986? That's over three decades of database evolution. Just like any technology, it has its quirks, especially during upgrades. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution is to roll back to the previous version of Postgres SQL. First, you can create a backup of your database by running a command in the container. Use docker exec followed by your container ID and pg dump to export your database to a local file. After ensuring that your backup is successful, you can then empty the database volume, upgrade Postgres SQL to the latest version, and restore your database from the dump file. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution comes from a user who found a helpful resource. They suggest using the tool from the GitHub link provided, which allows you to perform a PG upgrade of your PostgreSQL data. This method makes it easy to upgrade your database to the new version without losing your data. And that's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative solution provided by a user is to use the command docker volume prune. This command removes all unused volumes, which means any volume not currently in use by at least one container. The user mentions that while this approach worked for them, they have concerns about the definition of unused. They wonder if it refers to volumes that exist but are no longer associated with any container, or if it means volumes tied to stopped containers. Here's the tip I promised. Always check the compatibility of your data files with the new version before upgrading. This simple step can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now have a clear understanding of how to handle Postgres container crashes after an image update. Remember, whether you choose to migrate your data or start fresh, being proactive can save you time and frustration. 
If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.